Okay, you got an order in your online store. Congratulations. To fulfill this order, you want to sign into your WooCommerce store, review the customer information, ship the product they ordered, and then mark that order as shipped. I'm going to show you how to do this and I'm also going to show you how you can see some really cool information about everything the customer did from how they arrived at your website to what they did before they purchased your item thanks to a plugin called Analytics WP. And this video is sponsored by Analytics WP, which is a privacy focused, ad blocker resistant, and shockingly accurate analytics solution for WordPress. Analytics WP has in-depth reporting and user journey tracking. You can gain detailed insights into exactly where your users are going and what they are doing, all the way from their first click to their first WooCommerce purchase. After you sign into WordPress, you can view your orders by going to WooCommerce and then clicking orders. And now here you're going to see all your orders and some information about those orders. We have order number plus customer name. We have the date. We have the status. We have the total. And we also have an option to view the analytics WP journey. So to do that, you would just click this button and then you would be able to see everything that this user did before they purchased your item. Let's head back to all the orders in the dashboard. We've got bulk actions and filters up top, and you're going to be able to bulk edit multiple orders and filter them really similar to how you can do that with posts. And while you are here, if you want to just preview an order, you can click that little eye icon and just some information about the order will pop up in a dialog box like this. So let's close out of this and let me talk to you about the order statuses really quick because it's important that you understand these and what they mean. So first we have pending payment and this means that the order was created but no payment has been received yet. Usually this is when the customer starts to check out and doesn't finish or they select a manual offline payment like check or cash on delivery and haven't paid yet. The failed status means the payment was declined or failed for another reason. This is most common with credit card declines or gateway errors. Customers may see an error message and then just try again. If the order is set to processing, that means the payment was received and the order is being prepared and shipped. This status is automatically set after the payment is successful and the order includes physical products. You'll fulfill this order by marking it completed after it was shipped, and I'll show you how to do that in just a couple minutes. Next, we have on hold orders. With this, the order is placed on hold and no further action is being taken until you approve it. Often this is for manual payments or if you have to check the stock. You'll manually confirm the payment or the inventory before you change the status. Next, we have the completed status, and this is when the order is fulfilled and complete and no further action is needed. Either you set this manually after you ship the product or a plugin that is automated to do it did it. Your customer is usually notified when your order is marked as completed. Next is the cancel status and this means that the order was canceled by you or the customer. It was either manually canceled or automatically canceled if the payment wasn't made in time and either no payment has been taken or it's been refunded. And then if an order has just been refunded, it's going to look like this. And this means that you refunded the order either partially or in full. And this shows up after initiating a payment through WooCommerce or your payment gateway. And I will show you how to do that later. First, let me show you how to view and manage an order. Now, if you know a specific customer or the order number, you can put it in this box right here in the top right and click search orders to search for that one. Or you can just go ahead and click one of the orders in the list. And now let me explain a little bit about what's going on here, starting with the sidebar on the right. We have these order actions up here, and from here you can do any of these things like send order details to a customer, resend a new order notification, or regenerate download permissions if it's a digital order. And then you can see some information about the customer history, and you can, again, see more information about the Analytics WP customer journey. And then we also have a section for order notes down here. Some order notes are going to happen automatically, but you can also put your own notes here and you can either do a private note or you can do a note to a customer, which will email the customer. Now let's scroll back up and look at the order details here. 
If you need to change the shipping or the billing address, you can do it right here by clicking that little pencil icon. And most importantly, this is also where you can change the status of the order. So after you ship, you want to come here and choose this to say completed. If you scroll down, you can see information about the items ordered. And as you can see here, this order is no longer editable because the payment was processed already. But for orders where the payments haven't been processed already, like this one that's on hold, we can edit the items. We can update the quantity or we can update the total. We can also add additional products, add fees or add shipping fees. And don't forget to save this when you're done making changes. You can also add additional items here or apply a coupon code to the order if they didn't do that when they ordered for some reason. And then when you're all done here, don't forget to click recalculate and then update the order. Now let me show you how to process refunds. So let's click this refund button right here. So there's two different refund options with WooCommerce, manual refunds and automatic refunds. Almost every payment gateway supports automatic refunds. That means that WooCommerce sends a refund request directly to the payment gateway like Stripe or PayPal, and then the customer gets their money back automatically. We don't have a payment gateway installed on this store yet, so there's no button for that here. But if we did, it would say something like refund via Stripe. So now we are going to do a manual refund here, which is we're going to put a refund amount and it can be the entire amount or it can be like a partial refund. And then we could put a reason for the refund here if we wanted to. And then we would click refund $10 manually and then click OK here. And note that since we're doing this manually, then we're in charge of giving that money back to the customer. It's not going to happen automatically. And if you wanted to send the customer a note to let them know about the refund, of course, you could just put it here under order notes. And then you would send this as a note to the customer instead of a private note and then click add and then they will get an email about that. Which speaking of before we finish up, let me show you how to see the emails that you and the customer will receive throughout the order process. So under WooCommerce, click settings and then click the emails tab. And now this is where you see all the emails that get sent through WooCommerce and who receives them. So we see these three are me here. Everything else is gonna go directly to the customer and you can click into any of these emails to edit them just like this. And of course, don't forget to click save changes when you're done. But let's go ahead and click back into all of the emails. And then if you scroll down, you can also change the email sender options. And this is where you can change the information that WooCommerce uses to send the emails to your customers. So the most important thing here is you want to make sure this from address is correct so they can reply to you. And you might possibly want to change the email template a little bit with your logo and maybe your business colors to keep consistent branding. And that's it. Now you know how to manage your WooCommerce orders. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check out my description for a free download for my nine step website roadmap. It will take you through everything you need to do to get your site live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.